I think one of the problems in, in the last 20 years is we got satisfied, we got comfortable. You should never go to your grave having not befriended any, anybody that you may have fallen out with in your life. God created a few perfect people. The rest we made right here. I really want to challenge the decision makers now to put dignity into action, to operationalize dignity. Do I take your hand? Are you behaving yourself? I always No, <laughs> no, you are not. Thank you. A lot of students waiting to Yes, to all right, you. come on. Uh, we are very happy to be uh, guests at this school, and we are, of course, very honored to have uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu joining us, as well as many other very interesting uh, people. Now, global dignity is something that we have started. We've been doing uh, school visits around the world uh, on all continents, and what we do is we talk to students uh, from 12, 14 to 18, 19 about the value of human dignity. And also we ask you to reflect how you define dignity, to ask yourself the question, what are you for? Well, there's bound to be some ideas out there that are actually better than the ones we came up with. So once we're doing this and when we're having the exchange with the kids, it's going to change us. We want you to reflect on what you can do the next year to increase other people's dignity. And try to be a bit concrete about that, because the lesson that I've learned is that every human being has the possibility to really make an impact in the world. What choices are we going to make? Who are we going to become? What are we going to serve? What's our purpose in this life? The average person needs to be able to sustain a proper living. The average child needs to be taught financial literacy in the language of money. The average person needs to have dignity in the way in which they comport themselves. And people need to have the ability to not only buy things, but pay for things. If people sit down and think, how can I make lots of money? They're never going to make any money. We have kept asking maybe questions like, is this thing profitable? I think we've also got to add, is it right? I'm President Marty Artisari. I support the Global Dignity Initiative. It's very difficult to think of life in dignity if you can't offer hope for the future and, and productive employment for these youngsters. What's the matter with us? When are we going to open our eyes and see that what we do to the other is not it's not something too significant. We, we need to be reminded of a simple thing, that uh, we are all members of one family. It sounds very romantic and sentimental, but it isn't. If we really believed that we are members of one family, we would not spend the billions that we spend on, on arms when a very small fraction of that would ensure that children everywhere have clean water to drink, enough food to eat. The school session was about them teaching me a lesson. They came open like they blossomed like flowers. The main thing for me is to treat the other persons like you want to be treated and not to have fear to not survive tomorrow or the next day. For me, dignity is giving something from me away for somebody else. For me, it doesn't mean giving up yourself, but maybe at some times just step back a bit and do something for other people. Give them something they don't have. Love and, and faith and dignity uh, just comes from yourself. You, you cannot produce it like money.
I see in dignity also as the heart of ethics. Yeah, so, so it's uh, yeah. the core of ethics where other things derive from. Once you have that, you, you cut, cut the uh, spiritual core for solving the issues that we need to solve now. That's but right. they can't be solved by only governments, we need every individual. Oh, Pico, Pico, Pico. most important thing is is how you deal with people. Uh, do you deal with people um, in the same kind of way that you'd like to be treated? Do you uh, give people lots of love, lots of understanding? Do you look for the best in people? Do you forgive people who, who, who um, uh, you know, messed up in your life? Do you befriend your enemies? You know, you should never <laughs> have enemies. Please uh, make your own promise about dignity. Please write it down later today and read it every now and then. Young people, you, 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 you are going to make a difference in the world. You, you.